Hi there folks, Tim Robson here. I hope you're all well. It's a nice day. It's been a little bit damp and wet, but it's calmed down. So we're gonna go and try and craft a new nice little hammock spot in this this line of trees that we were exploring the other week. Probably about a month ago now to be honest. Um yeah. That's why we're going to try and find this new spot because the view is really, really nice. And it'd be great to have the hammocks just set up there with that view. We're parked down there, my bike's down there, and Tom's car. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tim. Hello, YouTube. And yeah, that's about that. Sorry, it's been a wee while since last time I posted. I got coronavirus. Well, I presume it was coronavirus. I was really, really unwell. For about six days so yeah I'm, I'm feeling way better now looking forward to a nice night out in the fresh air yeah good to be back sorry about the absence yeah now into the woods it's a lot easier coming up the field that way than traipsing all the way up through the wood and now in the, this nice pathway Ha ah, ah, ha, spiky. Some nasty brambles and stuff. <laughs> Try to keep them off my new bag. <laughs> it's the last thing I want. So, throwing the pack down. Love that pack, by the way. Gonna be a video review on that coming out sometime in the next couple of weeks. Putting it through its paces has been a dream because it's so comfortable. <laughs> I we've, we've settled on this little spot here in amongst these pines. It's gonna be a nice view out through the hedge towards the hills. Yes, it's finally raining. It's been a, a while since I've seam sealed my tarp and it's never been wet yet, so. I'm really hoping that this is going to be a decent test for it. Mm, just go around, tighten it up every now and again because the sill nylon is really lively and it stretches off over the, a little bit of time after you've had it packed away, all wrinkly in the stuff sack. I'm just going to saw those little fluffs off. I decided to bring my camo hammock, my camo drama with the uh, the whoopee sling mod just for extra extra rainproofing. Get the sleeping mat brought out. I've got the lightweight sleeping mat because it's, it's warm and sticky in this wood. I don't want a, a hot night sleep, you know. That winter light pad is no joke. It really is a radiates the heat back at you from underneath. Tom is getting a good setup over here under his DD top. The lengthways. It's a lot of space for an amok that top is really really good. It's like a little house. Mainly got that set up that way so that we didn't have to get rid of this little holly tree that's here. You getting on all right there, Tom? Yeah, nearly done with the, uh, the old air map. Might not have it quite as uh, full as last time. Yeah, mine's a, a tough sleep. Leave it with just a little bit of bend and it, it makes chair mode work better as well. Say so probably about that. Maybe just, just a little, little last little squish and then you'll be all right, more. I would say. Be perfect. Yeah. Nice yeah. one, dude. That's pretty flat and level. Just 
Rain's getting a little bit heavier. Enjoying a nice comfortable sit. Not too much of a, of a view, but it's nice to be able to look out of the woodland at least. Down into the fields. And not, not a drop of water. <laughs> Time for a little bit of uh, lunch, lunch, dinner. I'm not really eating much today, we're busying around packing and everything, so got a little uh, macaroni and cheese pasta pop. Discovered how much I like those uh, on the last camp up in Fells. Really, really good. Cheese and onion roll. And I brought some Stroop waffles and some biscuits for afterwards from Tesco's. And the snacks. I might actually be a bit crisper now I've cleaned my camera lens, sorry folks. <laughs> Just been for a little wander around, spotting out some of the further, further woodlands. There's a lot of nice little spots of woodland around in this area. used to camp in one just down the road from here where we found a, a baby deer one year. I really enjoyed my pasta. <laughs> Been eating that on the walk. Back to camp, looking great. Such a nice peaceful spot, it's lovely. Only a couple of showers of rain as well, nothing too, too severe. So we have been blessed with a bit of a view, which is nice. Lovely, nice night for it. I'm looking forward to a sleep in my hammock. Still on our, still on our little wander. Just walked this line of trees here found this little road some really nice views to be had from here it's you get quite a good 360 all the way from the lakes and then right over there is Queensbury which is the backside of Dumfries over the other side of the Solway and then all the way over there is Burns Walk which is near Lockerbie I tried to camp on that hill not too long ago. And then all the way over there, you've got Langham Hills, and then round to the Pennines, which is all the way down the spine of the country, like down past the lakes, and then back round to the Lakeland Fells again. It's a pretty nice place to be. Growing up for silage. They've been working all the fields around here most of the day. The, uh, the big combine collectory things following it, and then all the tractors with trailers after that. I'm guessing. Mm, looks like it. 
farmers are still just doing the last little section of this field in front of us. I don't really think they've noticed us and if they have, I don't think they care because, you know, they would have just stopped and instantly said what he's doing. <laughs> so we're just sitting here waiting for them to move on to a different field before we go to head torches and stuff like that. It's getting pretty dark. My eyes are still quite accustomed to it though, so enjoying sitting here having a chat with Tom, drinking a coffee, smoking my pipe and waiting for these guys to finish working on this field. Got my sleeping bag out, got everything squared away. Oh, it's been a good night. It's been sat chatting for a while and oh, eating biscuits. <laughs> Not rained as much as I wanted it to, <clears throat> but it isn't forecasted really for uh, any heavier rain until about one in the morning. You can hear constant dogs barking in the background. But the farmers have packed in and gone away. That's that was loud <laughs> when all those tractors were driving past. Tops kept me plenty dry. Only been a few showers and stuff, but yeah. Nice job. <laughs> <sighs> this is the nice part of the night where I almost fall asleep without my sleeping bag because it's 14 degrees. What's that, sorry, dude? Just saying how easy it is to fall asleep when you sat here like this without your sleeping bag because of it being like 14 degrees. Oh, yeah. With uh, the air mats under you, that's all you need, really. Yeah, it's uh, you get a lot of warmth when you've got a nice warm jumper on and stuff. <laughs> But then you'll, uh, your body temperature drops and you wake up really cold. <sighs> oh, what a night's sleep. <sighs> it's 9am. I just woke up. I feel amazing. I've had such a good restful sleep. Beautiful morning to wake up to as well. It's real nice light, nice and warm, a little bit of a breeze. Nice to wake up and have the view out there to look at. Out onto the hills. Morning, Tom. Morning, Tim. Sleep well? Yeah, slept like a rock, thank you. Good, good. A better night's sleep. That's, that's the way in the hammocks. Uh, easy to get 10, 10 hours sleep and wake up feeling like a new pu new person. Oh. oh, I can't stop yawning this morning. I've slept so heavily. Got the coffee water on to boil. Just shouldn't take too long, thankfully. I'm going to get a nice coffee. So nice this morning looking out over the fields. It's really, really nice. Great morning. Just been lying in my hammock for ages watching buzzards fly. I don't know whether you'll be able to, to hear them right overhead. There's a pair of them. That's just packed away now. Everything in the uh, flex capacitor holds a lot of stuff. <laughs> you had a good one, Tom? Yeah, it's been great. I, I wish I could stay for longer. Yeah, Tom's got to go away and get on with his day. I've got bits and bobs to do too. Uh, yeah. 
nice and refreshed after that night's sleep though. That's us on the way out. I really, really like this woodland. It's very easy to access. Nobody bothers about the bike or the car or anything left by the side of the road. Never have done, we've come here tons of times now. There's one of the fields that was cleared off last night. I'm sure the farmers saw us at one point. He drove the tractor straight towards the hedge line with the lights blaring right at us and then just turned around and drove off and nobody ever came to see what we were up to or stopped to tell us off or anything so oh. nice spot so that's the uh, the little bit of wood that we were camping in last night just watching the buzzard from outside of the forest now. It's two of them, but the other one's way down the other end. There it is. <laughs> so, that's us on the way back to the vehicles down this it's a lot easier coming down this field isn't it oh yeah <laughs> always nice going downhill yeah but usually we'd be like traipsing all the path in through the woods and having to duck and oh, clamber over yeah. fallen trees and stuff <laughs> yeah the way in and out is uh over a ditch and then immediately you got a barbed wire fence to get over and, and then, then some uh, like rose bushes rose bushes yeah brambles yeah and a fallen tree in the way so it's a lot a lot easier this way Love it. Here we are, back at the vehicles. Exactly how I left it. <laughs> yeah, time to get home. Well, Tom, it's been a good one. Yeah, it's been grand, Tim. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, man. Really enjoyed right. it. Well, folks. That's me for this week. Hopefully uh, not get coronavirus again and it won't be as long until next video. But thank you all very much for watching and I hope you're well. I'll see you next time.